Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the AV.io 4K video capture card, which is a little device that allows you to connect your camera via HDMI and to your computer via USB. And mine did come with these two little cables. I just had to use an adapter for the uh, micro HDMI on the Sony A7S. And I suggest that you check the details for yourself, mainly with regards to compatibility. But as far as I know right now, this won't record 4K 30p unless you're willing to pay for software. Luckily, it's not very expensive. It's not actually made by the same company. As far as I know, in September, there will be a firmware upgrade that will allow you to use the free software to get 4K at 30 frames per second. But for now, you need to spend about $60 a year on a license for that software, which I haven't tried to uh, record 4K at 30 frames per second. It should actually still be very affordable compared to an Atomos device if you already have a computer that you can plug this into and record onto the computer. And of course, if the portability of that computer works for you. And of course, you can also use this for streaming. If you want to actually get a really, really high quality video from your camera and use that to stream, then that's another place where something like this works very well. Although for using this as only 1080p, I think there are cheaper options. I've tried a few pieces of software to uh, get video from this and I found it very easy to work with them. It's very plug and play. There's, uh, as far as I know, there's nothing you need to install to get this to work. Opened up QuickTime, new movie recording. Hello. Then you press down here next to the record button and choose uh, AV.io 4K HD video. Whoa. This isn't really the ideal software to be recording with. It does work, but you only have two different uh, quality options and uh, both of them are not ideal. One of them is 720p and the other one is high quality 1080p, but it's something like two and a half gigabytes a minute. And uh, we'll open up OBS, which is uh, some free software you can get. And then I press the little plus sign here and then press video capture device and then selected uh, AV.io 4K. And then now here I can use this for uh, streaming or recording. This is the test here with uh, QuickTime. This is much easier to use than uh, OBS, but takes really big file sizes. The AV.io 4K gets its power from USB, which means there's uh, very little cables and mess and setup for this is very quick and convenient. And you'll get a blue light here when it's connected. And then when you're actually connected and using a piece of software to get video through this, then it will start blinking. Now there's a little fan in here. It's very, very quiet, much less than most computers or most lights, really tiny fan. And there's also an HD version, but the difference between them in price isn't so big. So I would say if you're gonna get one of these, it probably makes sense to go for the 4K. Here it is next to the 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina as a size comparison. The OBS software wasn't working very well and I wasn't even able to record 4K, but uh, getting high quality 1080p was no problem. And by the way, after a lot of use, the fan noise went up a tiny bit. Okay, so this is a difficult one to conclude because it might really depend on the software and the computer. As far as I can tell, the device is doing its job. It's very quickly and easily transferring 4K to a computer from a camera and is overall pretty compact and feels very, very well made. I mean, it feels like a little tank. As a product, it's really, really nice, but it might just take a little bit of time for the free software options to catch up with it. Like I said, there is a paid software option which should give you 4K at 30p, but I haven't tried that. I'll put a link to it down below, but I really can't say for sure how well that will work and on what computer. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this useful. If you want to support this channel, then you can get yours through the link down below from Amazon, eBay, or B&H. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, bye.